Jerry Mallory here, SB Nation, PrideDetroit.com. The Lions are going to be approaching the Senior Bowl. They are a coaching staff. It's not a fortunate or enviable position to be in, but it's time for them to make the most of it. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. There's a lot of things that has to happen for the Lions. The coaching staff seems to be in place now. And there's going to be the Senior Bowl. There's going to be free agency. There's going to be their own roster. There's going to be the draft. Let's take one step at a time. Today, let's look at that Senior Bowl. It will be played this Saturday. Jim Schwartz and staff will be coaching. Now, some people are not the Senior Bowl. These are the, the less than desirable talents. Uh, the top, the best of the best, don't go to the Senior Bowl. Well, just ask Chicago. Uh, Matt Forte had a big Senior Bowl. His draft stock increased. Ask Atlanta, the Falcons, who were in the NFC Championship. William Moore, safety at the Senior Bowl. Mike Ayupati, all pro guard, San Francisco, NFC champions, Senior Bowl, stand up. Uh, Jim Schwartz has coached this before, uh, back in 2010. He got a look at Joyke Bell. Joyke Bell is now on the roster. Maybe he waited on him too long, but he's here. He fell in love with a couple of guys, which we're going to talk about, as this may be an indicator of uh, how effective or how useful Jim Schwartz is going to use this time at the senior bowl. There's two guys that come to mind. One is Dexter McCluster, running back, kick returner, receiver, Kansas City Chiefs. Jim Schwartz comments he loved him. He said his size or lack thereof would not be a problem. He loves his work ethic, and he's an NFL caliber player. Many of us were convinced if Dexter McCluster was available in the third round, he would have been a Detroit Lions. Well, he wasn't available in the third round. We drafted Javon Best in the late first round. So it was not an option, but we know Jim Schwartz loved him. He's been pretty good at the NFL level. He played running back a lot year before last when Jamal Charles got hurt. Played a lot of receiver this year. He's a return man. We could certainly use him on our team. Now, the next guy that Jim Schwartz, he just fell in love with him, was the aforementioned Mike Ayupati. Jim Schwartz gushed over this guy the whole week. He's pro-ready. Every defensive uh, lineman that he's going against, he's never been outmatched. Uh, he is an all-pro potential type of player. Many of us said, man, he loves this guy. We had the number two pick. He wasn't worth that, but if we could sneak back into the first round, maybe in the late 20s, uh, we would make a trade for him. Well, he didn't last that long. He went in the first third of the first round uh, in the teens to the San Francisco 49ers. Jim Schwartz got an extended look at him. He saw him. He loved him. His prognosis seemed to be correct. And now Mike Ayupati is an all-pro guard. So this is uh, a good indication that this extended look that Schwartz and company is going to get could prove to be beneficial. So who are some of the guys this time around that could be potential draft partners with the Lions? We've got Denard Robinson. We interviewed him. Jim Schwartz isn't coaching him, but he'll get a chance to see him. We don't have a fourth round pick. He seems to be a fourth round pick, but we can get a compensatory pick. I just said pick about five times in 30 seconds. The point is this, we don't know where the Lions will draft, completely with trades, et cetera, et cetera. Denard Robinson's on the radar. We can use another receiver. We can use a kick returner, a punt returner, someone that can catch a screen pass. Marcus Hunt, SMU, 6'7", 280, potential, talent. Many people are comparing him to Jason Pierre-Paul. Not a ton of uh, football experience, but all the talent in the world, combined experience with the talent, he's someone that could be available early in the second round. We'll get an extended look at him. Now, Jim Schwartz will actually be coaching Ezekiel Anson. The other two guys he won't coach, but he'll look at. He's another defensive man prospect that has all the potential in the world, all the talent. Jim Schwartz is going to get a long look at him. Hopefully, he looks and finds the next Mike Ayupati. You know, he finds the next Dexter McCluster. So when he sees, he evaluates, he likes. But this time around, maybe he can nab. Okay, guys, that's going to do it. We'll be back. We've got so much to talk about. Congratulations to Ndamukong Sue making the Pro Bowl. Felt as though he should have been there in the first place, but he is there. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. We'll be back in a couple of days. Talk about some more prospects. Who do you want to see? Uh, what player are you looking forward to seeing at the Senior Bowl? Who do you think will stand out, surprise, and potentially be some of the Lions get a long, hard look at? That sounded inappropriate. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, uh, this has been Jerry Mallard. Thank you for watching. And as you know, brought to you by SB Nation and PrideDetroit.com.